Hey guys, Zeefels here. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is I keep seeing people use Hopog capture device in a way that I feel is not most optimal with OBS. So um, what I see a lot of people doing is they have the Hopog software open here uh, in another tab. They're clicking right, they're right clicking and they're using window capture. And window capture does work, but what happens when you do that is you have to do one of two things. You either have to do a section of the window, so you're gonna just capture this section and then you're gonna upscale it and you're gonna get a pixelized picture, or you're gonna set Hopog into full screen, in which case you're sacrificing access to your home monitor and it's just more CPU intensive. The problem that we have is we are trying to, so I'm gonna just turn this window capture off because we're not gonna do that. And what happens though um, is we're gonna try to use video capture device and you'll see here like, oh, it's it's not working. My hot hog is not working. I click OK. It ends up being this little red thing in the corner. We're going to remove that. And I need to tell you this. You you have to close hot hog capture. You, you can't. You can't do this. If your Xbox One is streaming to your hot hog software, this is video capture software. And it's, the video is being pulled from your device. If this is pulling video from your device, you cannot pull it from OBS. Now, because hot hog capture software is not open, we can add video capture device, click OK. We're gonna make sure that we have the hot pog video capture selected. And as you can see, it's already working. We're going to turn off our display capture and move it down. And now we have video capture device and our webcam, and it's good to go. You're gonna run into another issue and I'll show you how to fix that in the next video. It's going to be your webcam and your microphone are not going to be synced properly. And I can explain how to do that specifically with OBS Studio. It's different based on what version of OBS you're using. But um, yeah, if you're using OBS Studio and you want to use Hotbox device without the delay, go ahead and check out the next video. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you guys around. Thank you very much.